Type 3 Katera sensor right next to my Type 4. I'm going to show you how to set this up in this video. This is of course the Planet Watch series. This is actually video number 3. A couple of things are going to be changed up here. The setup and the unboxing of the Type 3 sensor. Give me a thumbs up if you like the new branding. We're no longer techie sales. We're now passive crypto mining. Follow me as we go on this journey on a multitude of crypto mining projects. As always, I've got all of the different steps time stamped at the bottom. Skip to the ones that are going to be useful for you or watch the whole video. It's only seven minutes. As with all of my videos, I've got a step by step PDF cheat sheet and I've also got a free return on investment calculator. Enter what sensors you have, how much you paid and you've got a simple calculator to work on your return on investment. As we open up, we get our first feel of the product. It's pretty light. It's got the connectors at the back. You've got the two cartridges that come with it. And as you open up, the mounting brackets come out. And inside you've got all of the different types of plugs for the different regions that you're in. It's got a USB-C type cable and that's about it. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to plug this in without the cartridges in. Once we turn it on, you'll see the light start to flash. Once it's flashing, we can then input the cartridges. They can go in any side, but we have to just make sure that the two metal sides of the contacts touch each other. Once it's in and it's flashing, we download the Katera Enterprise Configuration app. And then we head over to the Wi-Fi and we should find a Wi-Fi by the name of Katera. We connect to it. We might get a warning message. Click connect anyway. And then we click on configure inside the app. Once we're on the back end, we can find the UDID. This is the unique identifier. We need to copy that. It's very important for onboarding the sensor. Then we click on configure, which is at the bottom, and we now connect to the internet. We can either choose Ethernet or Wi-Fi. If it's Wi-Fi, it has to be 2.4 gigahertz connection, and we have to type in exactly the Wi-Fi name as it's spelt. We scroll to the bottom and we click OK, and then we should be getting a message to say that we have connected to this device. Now we head over to connect it to the Katera dashboard. For that, we head over to dashboard.katera.com. We click sign up. Once we've signed up, we log in. Once we've logged in, we click on add device. Very simply here, we just paste the UDID that we took from the previous step. We'll know if the device is connected properly because this should go through easily. So next step, we download the Planet Watch app. Note closely, this is the correct app we need to download. Now we click on sign up and we can create a username and password. It's going to be much better if we use the same email we use to buy our licenses. Here we can enter a referral code. And if you'd like the content here, just type in 9E27N8 and we both get a little bit of a kickback from it. And once that's done, why not just place your sensor somewhere? As long as the bottom and the top vents are clear, we can pop it on a tabletop or we can do what we like with it. Right, let's connect this to the app now. In the Planet Watch app, we click on wallets at the bottom and we click on add. We can either create a new wallet right now or we can recover a passphrase using a wallet that we already have from our Algorand app. If we're creating a new wallet, we can enter a name and we'll be shown a list of words which are our keywords. We have to save this. If we're recovering our wallet, we use the keywords to recover our wallet. We log into the Planet Watch app, then we click on indoor sensors, and then we click on the plus in the top right hand corner. Click the type three sensor, which is the one we have. Now for the sensor ID, it's the UD ID that we used previously. And for the device key, well, we're going to have to head through into the Katera dashboard. So let's go back to dashboard.katera.com, find our device, click on our profile, go to account settings, and that key is our API key. We simply copy that key, we go back to the Planet Watch app, and we paste that. Once we've pasted the API key and the UDID, very simply we choose our wallet, and then we enter our address. 
and we try to get this as correct as possible but we can always change this later. Wait a few minutes and voila, your device is now connected to your Planet Watch app. Right, so the first tip is to create an alert so that you know when your device is going offline. Super, super useful. Click on alerts, go to create alert, type in the devices that you want and the name of the alert. I'm going to click all of the devices that I have and then you can choose an email address that receives the alerts. Once you click on next, delete the existing one and if you scroll right to the bottom, you'll find offline. Once you add that and save changes, you've now created an alert. Every time a sensor goes offline, you'll receive an email for it. The second tip is the kiosk view. This allows you to compare your outdoor and your indoor readings. And this is also useful if you have somebody else hosting your sensor and you don't want them to have access to your dashboard. So very simply, you can generate a link here with their sensor so they can have their indoor readings and their outdoor readings. Send them that link and they can monitor their air. And that's it. There's my beautiful Type 3 and my Type 4 sensor. I have a couple of these deployed, so keep watching and do stay subscribed as I'll be doing an earnings update after one month just to let you know how much you can earn from these sensors before saturation sets in and also be sharing my thoughts on what I think the saturation effect is going to be on this product. Do subscribe to this channel. We'll be uploading tons of content. We'll be covering helium miners, planet watch miners, and in fact, I've got another few miners up my sleeve. So thanks for watching.